What inspired me to come to the United States was my parents' honeymoon. They took a trip to the Northeast and it's a story that they've talked about for as long as I can remember and I've always wanted to recreate it. Something that's a real standout memory to me was the cliff walk in Rhode Island. Just seeing the incredible architecture of these mansions and the fact that this is all next to these seaside towns, it was such a sight to behold. The Northeast is full of surprises. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect to do a blacksmithing course, but that's exactly what I found myself doing one day. It was something that pushed me completely out of my comfort zone. I don't think I've ever been more proud of something. This is the proudest thing I own. My parents always said that Mystic in Connecticut was a town that lived up to its name. They described it as an adorable, quaint, historic town. I was so excited to get to experience it for myself. My parents talked about these boardwalks that would seemingly go on forever. And when I got to Rehoboth Beach, I could totally see what they meant. I adored walking up and down those boardwalks, whereas my dad only ever talks about the taffy, so I had to try really hard not to eat it all before I got home so I could save him some. <laughs> the thing I was really looking forward to telling people back home was just how friendly everyone in the Northeast was. I felt like I made a friend in every town that I went to. Even though I was traveling alone, it didn't feel that way. I was really hoping for this holiday to be a real mix of things for me, from those quiet, introspective moments on a peaceful beach at sunrise, to those more exciting, life-invigorating moments where you make a new friend, or you feel like a child with an ice cream on the beach playing in the waves. I just wanted it to be a mix of everything. I'm so happy I got to turn my parents' experiences into my own adventure.